Hello everybody, what is going on? It is your boy Matt Beck. So I'm actually headed out the door to go mow my mom's uh, lawn. I gotta drive over there and get everything set up and go mow. But anyway, uh, after that I'm probably gonna go to the gym. I just wanted to do an enclosure video today. Um, I said that I was gonna do one yesterday in the live stream. Also, huge shout out to Darcy. I don't know if you saw the live stream last night, but uh, you really made my whole day. Let me just tell you. And you made today too. Thank you. Um, but yeah, let's get started, man. So I'm going to flip it on over here. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys remember the skull that we found up in Northern Virginia. Give me one second. Um, right here. But yeah, we got it all cleaned and cooked. Um, you got to cook it to kill the bacteria, the parasites, um, anything in there that could fuck up my little homie up there. Um, as you can see, he's up there just a chillin'. Uh, but yeah, let's get started, man. So... Over here, uh, it's kind of hard to see. I, you'll probably be able to hopefully see it better, um, you know, while you're watching it. Uh, but you have these little squares, man. I can't find these fucking things anywhere. But that's how I uh, kind of get his vine set up. You got to keep in mind that this is an arboreal snake. Uh, it's a caramel carpet python. Um, so he likes to be climbing and he likes to be off the ground uh, really almost all of his life. Uh, but yeah, I got that set up. Um, the bark, actually, I found, uh, this I found, and then, you know, everything else in here is probably store-bought, uh, but yeah, man, um, I like to put in these little trees, I kind of like to have a common theme, you know, I like this rainforest kind of look, um, I'll probably do another setup enclosure video for my other one, but, uh, or a more detailed one, if you guys want a more detailed one, I can do that too, where I take everything off, because, um, this guy is actually an escape artist, my first three hours of having him, he got out after I went to bed and I woke up with him on the floor. So it was a no bueno kind of situation. But yeah, as you can see, uh, a <laughs> little less fancy and extravagant up here. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff weighing down the top. Uh, his humidity has to be just right. Let me see, there it is. Um, he can have it up to about 90 degrees in there. You know, I like to give him a day and night cycle. Um, humidity needs to be at around 50 to 70 um, it's anywhere in that region, but, uh, if it's too high or too low, he can get respiratory infections, which can kill him, which are not good, and they're also very expensive to treat. Uh, but yeah, I've got two, two liters of Pepsi, um, some snow boots, uh, some snake hides, um, a bottle of Tide, a mason jar, a snow globe, a box, some more, uh, um, fucking, what's it called? Bark or AstroTurf or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what that is in there. Probably not good. I got to take that out. But, um, but yeah, as you can see, just super ghetto. Just you know, weighing down the top so that he doesn't escape anymore. Um, also, it's good to have a background. You want to have something kind of covering the back, uh, just because you know it makes him feel more secure, more enclosed. You know, um, you got to keep in mind in the wild they're not used to glass. So a lot of times when you first put him in here, you'll see him trying to just rub his face up against the glass. He doesn't really understand that, uh, but he will, and he does now. Um, but yeah, he's perched up there, and he's just chilling. He actually bites me almost consistently. He's bitten me almost every day since I've got him, uh, that I've tried to handle him. Uh, but he's getting better. He's doing a lot better. Anyway, the skull, I think, is a really cool addition to the tank. Um... You know, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I was either going to keep it here or I was going to hang it up up there somewhere. But I just thought it would be more appreciated in here. You know, he can actually use that. And, you know, it's still on display. It's still a display piece, you know. So, um, yeah. I need to probably get him a bigger water dish. He doesn't really like to swim. Not too fond of it. But he does need water. And, I mean, I don't know. That might be good where it's at. The next thing I have is pretty much just a bigger one of these right here, right on over here. And you always want to give them hides at the bottom because sometimes they do like to go and sleep in the uh, the bottom of, you know, wherever they're at. He hasn't really spent his whole time up there. This is like the first day since I got back and had the skull set up that um, everything's kind of in its spot. And I think I'm going to keep it this way for a long time. I really like how this came out. Uh, I do need to find something better to do with this. Right, you know, right here is all of that is the uh, thermometer and humidity gauge for that. But yeah, um, you know, I'm not really going to make this video too much longer. There's not really a whole lot more I can talk about. I mean, you've got some moss right here, some leaves. Just something, you know, to give it that natural vibe. Uh, 
But yeah, man, tell me what you guys think. If you guys have any more recommendations of things I could do, please let me know. Like I said, I am out the, or about to be headed out the door, so I'm kind of in a rush to make this video. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Regardless, I think it's a cool video. Um, I think I might, oh, he's doing something. I think I might be able to take him out probably tonight, and we'll see how all that goes. But yeah, he's super cool, man. Um, I didn't think he was going to move for the video. But yeah, he's super, super cool. Anyway, man, I hope you guys have an absolutely blessed day. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. If you guys liked it or have any suggestions or comments, please let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that thumbs up button. And, uh, yeah, you guys take it easy, man.